Oh, hi. What's up? I didn't see you there. Hey, thanks for coming back this week. This week we're, we're at Warden's Ledges. We're also going to go to Whip's Ledges and we're going to do a loop at the Brexville Reservation. And now we're going to go exploring. I'm hitting up a few small trails today. I don't think there is a trail that is longer than a mile and a half that I'm going to today. But we'll see. There might be one that's actually two miles. The one that I'm going to right now is called Warden's Ledges. It's in Hinkley, Ohio on the Hinkley Reservation. And this one I'm really excited about. It looks really cool. The trail is not that long. It's only about yeah, three quarters of a mile long maybe. but. It's supposed to be really cool. There's some rock carvings and faces. And right now, that's, that's where I'm headed. We have made it to the loop. It is 0.4 miles, so it's, it's about a half a mile, but I think the walk-in you account for, and that's what gets you to that half or uh, three-quarter mile mark. Let's try this way. Maybe we'll find some faces this way. Oh, what's this say? Gate, post, cut. 1852, huh? I don't know what that means. I want to see the faces. Leave it to me to come down here and not be able to find gigantic faces carved out of rock. Just saying. It's kind of bizarre. Those people just made it sound like they were everywhere. Maybe I just went the wrong way. It's really, really pretty. <gasps> it literally scared me, like straight up. Okay, it's kind of creepy out here, guys. There is nobody here. What? God. This bro like corn, it says, can you see that? C-O-B-B. -B. You cop? Oh, look at you. Okay, right around the corner from Mr. Cobb, we've got a cross carved into some rocks. I don't want it. I'm not going back there. I'm all by my lonely today. I'm not going back there. All right, what's back there though? But like, I kind of got to know. Guys, this is how it starts. Oh, look. There goes some kind of Bible underneath of it. All right, where are these other faces at? I need to see more faces. Look at a ship. What? I don't know, like, if this is going to come through, but there is a ship. Wow. Guys, these are the most cave drawings I've ever seen. This is really cool. What? Are we doing cursive? What is this? Oh, boys are everywhere now. Oh, there go another one up there. Wow, oh man. Now I'm seeing them everywhere. They got some cursive going on. Nettie, you special lady. Oh, this is the Sphinx. I did go the wrong way. Wow. Who made these? Do you see that? H.M. Warden. 
This is a really cool spot. <laughs> Little animals be running around and I'd be like, I did see that couple on the trail. Maybe there are a couple killers because that's the kind of stuff that goes through my mind. Weird. What's up, Santa? Oh, it's just half a face. So this is your good side. All right. So cool. I am totally starving Marvin. I know I just started, but I haven't eaten yet today. So I'm gonna sit down on this rock with my new buddy and have a little snack. All right, so since that nice lady on the trail earlier told me to start with the Sphinx, I'm guessing the trail to get back out could be some way this way. And it's supposed to loop you around, so we're just gonna keep following it this way. Gloop, gloop. It's a good thing I got my fancy boots on. I love these boots. They're Keens. They're very me. Just the bright blue. I'm gonna find my way out of these woods and then we're headed to Whip's Ledges. Yeah, we've got a couple more stops for today, but it's what I wanna do for today. It's beautiful out. All right guys, so we've made it to Whip's Ledges. There's a little history board behind me here. I'm not gonna read it all to you. Look it up, it's a pretty interesting story. The old boy was even uh, almost murdered by his wife because he was so baller. But uh, this place is significantly busier than Wardens. And I don't know what's so cool about Whips, but Wardens was super awesome. It's only like a mile and a half up the road. I believe this is the trail that we are looking for. I'm a little winded just from walking the steps up to this place. I stop carving on trees. It hurts them, don't do that. Carve into some rock. It's the top of the ledge. There's people up there. So there are people rock climbing up on whips like this. So I don't really want to record too much of them without their permission. We're just gonna keep walking around and if you see them in the background, cool. All right, come up through some ledges here. Yeah. There's rock climbers everywhere. Set up a craft table and That's what you do here. Climb rocks. So I think this concludes my trip at Whips Ledges. It is absolutely beautiful here. And if you're into rock climbing, I've never rock climbed a day in my life. This is definitely the spot for you. Come check out Ohio. I met some rock climbers who are up here from Michigan, some are from Columbus, all over the place. Come check it out. We've made it to Brexville Reservation. Maybe a 10, 15 minute drive from where we were at. I'm gonna check the trail map here. The loop that I'm looking for is Hemlock Loop. Not only do they mark their trailheads, but they will mark plants as well. I love it. They also have this wonderful nature center here. There are just some really pretty spots through here. There's this little overlook like amphitheater place. They probably do like programs for kids and stuff here, but you can then look out. Hear the creek down there? Creek, creek, whatever. 
we've got some walking to do on this trail too. It's almost three miles long. This trail, I and mean, it doesn't have any ledges, it doesn't have any rock carvings, but it is a beautiful trail to just get out and see some wildlife and be in nature. And look, there's a little black squirrel. I love the little black squirrels. going that way. That way is civilization. We're going deeper. Oh, it smells like poop. This way. Sometimes I don't really pay attention to where I'm going. I'm just busy looking at the nature that I'm trying to look at and I don't really pay attention to where I'm going, so I really like that Brexville has their trails marked out. I always find my way back. I'm never actually lost, clearly. Camelbacks are super fun. Get water from them. And you can squirt people with them. Kind, kind of, sort of. Ooh. Pretty cool. The trail goes right under it. I haven't seen a trail marker in a while because I've been looking around. What was that noise? Something made a noise. Thank you for watching my video today. I hope you enjoyed all three parks I went to. Get outside, hit up some trails. This was a fun day. I admit it was a lot. My legs are like, <gasps> they're feeling it, but it's okay. It was totally worth it. Like I said, it's a beautiful day. What else was I gonna do? Well, probably clean. I probably could have done that today, but whatever, whatever. We're gonna do that later. Don't forget to hit that like button if you like this week's video. Subscribe to my channel, please. And hit that notification bell. You'll be notified every time I upload a new video, which is every Sunday. And as always, guys, keep marching to the beat of your own drum. Peace. Get outside, get outside. I want everybody to get outside. Go for a walk, go for a ride. I don't care, just get outside. <laughs>